Well, listen, man, talk about it. I mean, uh, three wins, three finishes. I mean, you got quite a run going on right now. What's, what's the feel for you? Um, you know, it's, it feels good. I just want to keep that streak going. Yeah. Despite, I mean, the success, right, you only got to fight once last year. So I kind of wonder, like, it, it's, it feels like in one hand you're, like, in the best run of your career, but in the other hand, I'm sure one fight wasn't great for you either. So I guess how do you, how do you kind of see things right now? Um, I want to stay more active this year. Um, I learned a lot of patience being in the UFC, not having to fight yeah, like three or four times a year like I was on the local circuit. Um, it's helped me grow and develop a lot as a fighter, and, you know, I showcase it every time. So what has been the focus? Since you haven't been able to compete, you haven't been, like, in full training camps, what, what has been, I guess, the focus during the time off? Um, just, just getting better in every aspect that I can, um, grappling, striking, however, mentally mainly, um, just staying strong and learning how to um, – manage all this time and just uh, take in everything as, as it comes. I guess happy that that time is ending though now and it's time to fight again? Yeah, it's time to, time to get back in my office. Nice. What do you think about uh, Jamie as an opponent? When you got this matchup, what do you think about it? Uh, Jamie's a tough opponent. Uh, he's good, pretty well-rounded. Um, he's uh, pretty durable from what I've seen. He comes forward a lot, likes pressure. He likes to strike, but he also grapples. So it's going to be a good fight. A featured spot on ESPN, right? Like, that's kind of the lead-in. That they're, they're, I mean, does that feel like kind of a, a responsibility, I guess, to set the tone for the pay-per-view? Yeah, it feels good. You know, I always set the tone. I always have an exciting fight. As long as my opponent isn't boring, you know, I'm going to put on a show. So that's why I wonder, like, on paper, this looks like it could be a lot of fireworks, right? So, I mean, do you go in there and, and brawl with this guy, or do you go in there and you try to maybe be a little bit more technical because he does like to brawl? <laughs> you know, we, we'll see how it goes. Like, I'm... Um, I feel like I'm going to have the best, better hand in wherever the fight goes. So if we get into some crazy exchanges, you know, it'll be fun. If we, if I, I can keep it technical and just stay long the whole fight. So we'll see. It just depends on how I feel fight night. Nice. Uh, full arena again, is that something that, I mean, does that, does that affect things? I don't want you to get in there, it's just a fight. But, I mean, being in a full arena again, is that exciting for you? Yeah, it's always exciting. I like having the fans there. Um, it doesn't affect me like fight night. Like when, like as soon as I'm in there, like I'm zoned in. But, you know, it's nice like after the fight to like uh, interact with the fans. I know you had to sell some tarantulas, but do you, do you have any with you this week? Or? Nah, I didn't, nah, I didn't bring any. I wanted to, but, you know, they made that little rule, so I left them at home. I was going to say, how do you travel with those things? They, dude, they're super durable. You could, as, long as, they don't, uh, as long as they have water, they're good. They can go, like, months without eating. Just carry them on a plane or what? No, nah, I drive. Oh, okay. I'm in SoCal, yeah. It's only, like, a three-hour <laughs> drive. Just drive, cruise through. Nice. Know? All right. Well, I guess last thing, what's ideal for you? Like I said, you got these, this, this winning streak going, you know. Is, is it about going on and, and just keeping the win streak going, or is it about going and putting on, you know, a bonus winning type performance? I mean, what kind of fight do we see here? Like, I, I think I've put on – I think every time I've got to finish, I put on a bonus performance, you know, and I didn't get them yet. So I'm not worried about that. I just want to keep winning at this point, you know. Um, you know, the goal is just to reach the top and just keep going there. Jalen right here. Uh, you've obviously, you haven't reached the, the judges' decisions yet in, in victory, uh, but lately you've been submitting your opponents, and after, before that it was pretty much all knockouts. So do you now, now, fight, now your opponents will probably expect uh, this grappling, even though, like, you can't just pull it out and be like, surprise, I'm good at grappling anymore, right? Um, yeah, I think, I think as soon as I start striking them, they're still going to be surprised if I start grappling them because it's like pick your poison at this point. You know, I'm, I'm getting well versed on the ground, and my striking is just getting even better. I'm just evolving everywhere. So, you know, it's like, as soon, like soon they're going to have no choice but to, you know, just take on the onslaught. Then, un completely unrelated to fighting, I was going through your social media this week, and I didn't realize you were such a good skateboarder. Like, I saw you hitting, like, switch trays and everything like that. Why in the world did you not become a professional skateboarder? That, that was actually like my first goal when I was younger. I wanted to be a professional skateboarder. Um, life happened. I um, didn't have the support. I, I, I had a fear of heights, so that kind of played a big factor. I, wouldn't, I didn't do anything more than like a 12 stair, you know? So, um, yeah, I just kept breaking bones. Got, had a girlfriend, like threw all that off. So that dream like, got kicked to the curb. But it's like, a, it's like riding a bike. You never forget. So I still got my tricks. Was skateboarding harder on your body than fighting? Way more. Uh, the things that I've accomplished in fighting, I didn't accomplish in skateboarding, and I skateboarded for like, like seven years. So, what's the equivalent of a UFC championship in the skateboarding world? Ah, shoot, you, you gotta be like, Nigel Houston, Chris Cole, or somebody like, just have everything, every trick on lock, everything you can do possibly. Well, it's an Olympic sport now. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah, I heard that Nigel came second in that. I didn't even know. Yeah, he didn't that. win gold though, so that was yeah. kind of. Yeah, it's all good. He, he wins everything anyway, so. 
Hey, Jalen, right here. Uh, Jalen, you're obviously one of the taller and bigger lightweights out there. Um, as you've been going on, how is it making the weight still as you've been going in your career? Um, it's, it's being made, you know. Um, it's never easy. Cutting weight always sucks. I love food. Like, it's hard for me to just cut that out anytime. So that's the hardest part. Um, it's part of the job. Um, I make it every time. So, you know, it's, I don't know. That leads me to my question. I mean, with your frame, do you have you thought about, you know, possibly 170, or is that still more further down the line from where you're at right now? Hey, they're, they're too big at 70, dude. I don't think I'm going to ever fight at 70. Um, honestly, like, as soon as I'm in camp, I'll, I'm, under, I'm under the 80s anyway, you know, so it's, it doesn't really make sense weight-wise for me to fight at, at 70. Like, until I start walking around at, like, 85, 90, like, like walking around, like not like, like I'm training hard and I'm walking around that way, then I'm gonna stay at 55. Thank you. Yep. Thank you.